Okay, purchased a French door, Euromex solutions, and that's from Wix. So these are the instructions you get. Now I didn't find them that helpful, so it's a bit of trial and error for me. Um, what I've discovered is underneath here, the main hinge there, you've got two, one there, ignore that one. You want the one to the rear, well it's a five mil, and if you adjust that clockwise, that raises these up like that, so then in turn that raise the door that way up. Right, if it's hitting on the obviously the bottom there, and you need to raise it up, you're gonna to have to do that with all of them. So you can even mark it with a little bit of pencil to see where you had it. Um, the other thing is you wanna, if you wanna adjust the door, so on the door jam, as you go like that and it's hitting as that is now can you see that right so obviously i'm going to have to adjust the door um here you've got a cover plate there right and inside there's two phillips screws to so take them out they won't put fall out but to pull them out like that undo them and you've got your plate here and that slides either get a little rubber mallet and hit that like that that slides open all right let me show you quickly here if you see it moving clockwise moves as i'm turning that i don't know if you can see it clockwise moves it pushes it that way like that way pushes it that way anti-clockwise brings it in and you've got three hinges there so you can play a little bit what i found as well i just loosened didn't loosen them off i loosened these off slightly so it eases it back and forward a bit easier so it doesn't stick so yeah there's your adjustment um probably spend a day just adjusting this because it is a bit of a nightmare um, but there you go but one thing to ensure one bit of advice is make sure you get the frame totally plumb totally level because otherwise you really are going to struggle remember clockwise five mil allen key clockwise raises the door upwards and you will need to do that on all three hinges equally one more thing to add the chute bolts are catching as you see i took this plate off of there you can adjust these look watch like that and that moves all around but i'll show you something i was struggling with it watch see here on the moulding on the plastic there well I didn't realise down below and there that piece there was I'm going to cut that off in a minute I've started to cut it cut that back because as, as that compresses the seal that was holding it back that's hitting against the frame there that's restricting it and the same would be for the other side because these chute bolts as you go like that you want the chute bolt to go in the thing and it wasn't doing that even with the adjustment on the plates here so bear that in mind right now i've took off them plastic snots at the top and the bottom you see the chute bolt watch see that's how it should work like that and that's what was restricting it was the plastic snots that were on the corner there so bear that in mind because that snags and i was adjusting these plates back and forward look trying to look with a torch and that's what it was was the snot on the corner there in the manufacturing process <laughs>